So tell us then, what kind of tools and software are you using okay. to track all of this and to monitor it and to pull the data out? All right, so I should say there are some good aggregate softwares out there that kind of are really designed to help authors um, collect all of this, specifically if you're a wide author because you're going to be on so many different platforms and stuff like that. Um, I don't use any of them. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't recommend them. However, go I'm guessing out. then, is it all just spreadsheets? Just spreadsheets? It's just <laughs> spreadsheets, yeah. I just collect it myself. Um, I know it's terrible, uh, but I like it. Like I, it's like not it. terrible. If that's the system that works for you, that's what we yeah. want to hear about, Gail. Obviously, it's a <laughs> successful system. But I do, but like, do check out um, uh, indie author. What's the in, wide for the win? And then there's an indie author um, massive group and like fifty books, fifty k, and places like that um, th on Facebook in specifically will have discussions of different like aggregate tools like this. So um, they're, they're places to look for the ones that authors are particularly using or that are catering to authors. And it's probably a good idea to use one of those um, just because then there's other authors talking about this and you can go ask questions of them. Um, I use no aggregate tools. I just use spreadsheets and I just use a lot of the built in. So Google Analytics or WordPress Analytics or whatever. Um, I will say there is one tool that I hard recommend, and I can't emphasize this enough. Back when we talked about the things to do that are lightweight, that are the least barrier to entry, um, I mentioned that Google Anal Google or your WordPress analytics and then your newsletter analytics are probably the two you're going to be accessing the most. The one that I recommend most authors build in and utilize the most is a tool called Redirection. Now, Everybody is probably familiar with um, using something like Bitly or uh, tiny URL or something, uh, a URL shortener that allows you to track um, where, where whatever link you've posted is going. What a lot of people don't know or what a lot of authors don't know is your WordPress site has a plugin that can do that as well. And it's called redirection. And basically it will allow you to build a link to anything that is your website's URL and then whatever slug you want to give it. So whatever little tag words you want to give it. So for example, I have a book called The Heroine's Journey, which is a nonfiction book. And I have a redirection slug built into my website that's basically gailcarriger.com slash hj. And that is a very short URL I can say on something like a podcast. And if you typed it in, it would just redirect you to that book's landing page on my website. That's a very simple way a redirection works, but the beauty of redirection as a plugin and as a piece of software is that you can track everything with it. So if you want to run a test on anything, you can build a baby slug to that website. Um, and by that, I mean, um, so when I have a new book for sale, the redirection is going to point at that book's sales landing page. So for me, that's a book to read landing page, which basically has all the marketplaces that the book is going to be sold in because I have a wide author. If you are not a wide author, you might have that redirect go straight to your Amazon page, however you want to do it. But I use a redirection and the redirection is dedicated to whatever platform that is posted on. So I'll build a special redirection that basically says the book's name and then Facebook group, for example. And then when I post that I have a new book out and here's where you can buy it with the link, I use the redirection link. And then I can go to my website and see how many people clicked on that link specifically to buy the book, which basically is telling me how many people in the Facebook group were interested in looking at this new book of mine. And then I will do that for Twitter. How many people for Twitter were interested? Now, all of these people are being directed to the same place, but I'm being told by the link where they started out. And that's just telling me very specific information about where my interested people are. So this is just clicks. It's not necessarily people who actually buy the book to track how, where people are actually buying from, you need to roll this out on a temporal scale. So like you do Facebook group on Monday, 
Facebook page on Wednesday, Twitter on Friday, and then you see how many sales you get on the pre-order on Amazon for each of those days. And that will give you, it's very loose, obviously, it's just Amazon specific, and it's just, um, and of course, people will have maybe have seen it elsewhere, uh, but it is the only direct data we have for tracking purposes. So anyway, so, but it's redirection, this little tool that allows me to do all of this. Um, it's, it's just, it's a very minor tool and it's just extremely powerful. Uh, so if you have a WordPress website, which most authors do, it's one of the best tools we have out there. Um, and so one of the things I do weekly is I bop over and check my redirects and I just go in and look, organize them by date, see which ones are popular, hope that if I sent out a newsletter recently, those ones are right at the top because that means people engaged with the newsletter. Um, I take a look to see if there's an interesting spike in my redirects, like ooh, everybody's suddenly buying off this old link that's linked to an old blog post, what's going on there, something like that. Um, it's, it's just a really, it's a really powerful little tracking tool. Um, and it's something that's your own website. So it's not tools like Bitly or tinyurl similarly do this but they're held by a middleman you don't control that data so um it's a lot easier just to have it as a plugin and i have a blog post about it i think it's probably gailcarriger.com slash redirection but also you can just google gail Carriger tool redirection or gail Carriger redirection and there i have a whole blog post about exactly how you set it up for a wordpress site and um you know why how you if hearing me talking about it is overwhelming, it's all written out so you can realize why you might want to use it and stuff like that. So that's my hot tip. <laughs> is is it Don't let me do that until I'm over this cold because I'll break my website and you know it. <laughs> yes, a, yeah. you're banned. <laughs> banned from editing websites until next week at least. Don't let me do 